2019, the International Buddhist Academy or IBA has requested me to give the third part of the seven year, the complete part course teaching. So uh, in 2019, uh, I'm going to teach the Wondro teaching. Wondro means preliminary, or it is the foundation for all of our Dharma practice. So, for example, when a <coughs> person builds a house, first, that person needs to build a good foundation or solid foundation. Without the foundation, the person cannot build a good house. So whether that person can build a good house, solid house or not, depends on how that person builds the foundation. So foundation is very important for the house. Similarly, uh, whether we can practice Dharma in a very effective way or not, whether one can uh, gain high realization or not through the practice of Dharma depends on the foundation or the mantra practice. So therefore, mantra practice is, is very, very important. And mantra or the common foundation and the uncommon foundations means um, first, the common foundation means like difficulty of obtaining the pressure of human life, impermanence and death, law of karma, and shortcomings of the samsara. So by reflecting and by practicing on these four common foundations, it will help us to practice dharma, without any delay, and also it will help us to practice Dharma with the thought of renunciation. And also it will help us to practice Dharma without any uh, other thoughts, or it will help us to practice Dharma genuinely not only at superficial level, because no one can deceive the law of karma. So uh, <clears throat> it will help us to practice dharma in reality, not just at superficial level. So these are, and, and also there are other purpose for us to practice the common foundation. And then there's an uncommon foundation, which means to, to practice refuge, which is the <clears throat> root of all the dharma, um, preliminary of all the path, Dharma path, and base of all the Buddhist vows, and it is the thing that distinguish between Buddhist and non-Buddhist. And then we need to practice like loving kindness. Actually, loving kindness is the base of compassion, and then compassion is the base of bodhicitta. So these three practices are very, very important in the Mahayana tradition. Without these three practices, one cannot become a, a Mahayana Buddhist or one cannot practice the Mahayana teaching in a proper way. So therefore, these are very important foundations for us to practice Mahayana teaching. And then, like Vajrasattva is very important practice because since beginningless time, we are under the control of negative karma and mental afflictions. So therefore, we have done so many negative deeds or actions in the past and we are still doing it. So therefore, it is very important to practice Vajrasattva so that we can purify our past bad karmas or bad actions so that we can be more prepared or we can be more suitable to practice the profound Dharma. And then we need to study and practice on mandala offering. 
because this is an uh, important practice also. In order to practice Dharma, we need merit. Without merit, we cannot practice in a proper way. We need an enough merit to practice. So one of the best way to accumulate great merit is to practice mandala offering. So it is the most or one of the most important practices to accumulate merit because when we practice mandala offering, there's no uh, negative actions in the beginning, there's no uh, negative actions or stingy thoughts during the mandala offering practices, and also there's no uh, negative thoughts at the end also. So therefore, mental practice is one of the most excellent practices to accumulate more merit. And then we need to practice Guru Yoga. Guru Yoga is very important. Uh, in order to receive blessings, we must practice Guru Yoga because Guru is very important to us. And if you look at the history of our great masters, we can see that many masters have attained realization through the practice of Guru Yoga, especially the great Sakya Penita Kunga Gyaltan is actually the real Manjushri in human form. But for the eyes of common people, he acts as an ordinary human being. So at the time of entering into the Mahapada Nirvana, he put his own hand on the head of Dogen Shakyal Pava and said, <clears throat> the followers, if they practice Guru Yoga, then they will gain <clears throat> great knowledge and great wisdom, etc., as he has gained himself by receiving the Guru Yoga blessing from his uncle, Jitun Rinpoche Thakpa Gyaltsen. So therefore, Guru Yoga practice is one of the most important practice in our Vajrayana tradition. So in short, the common and uncommon foundations are very important. These are the base or these are the foundation to progress on the Dharma path. <clears throat>